Yes, a very good afternoon to all of you, those who are there on this attending this program and a special welcome to my dear students and parents and their guardians. I congratulate all of you for having secured admission into Bhavan's College. I am Sujata Shetty and I'll be your guide and host for this program. We begin our today's proceedings with the traditional lighting of the lamp as, and the Saraswati Vandana. The Saraswati Vandana is a prayer to the goddess of knowledge and wisdom. We usually light a lamp to dispel darkness, but in an educational institution, when we light a lamp, it means we dispel the darkness of ignorance and usher in the brightness of knowledge. And there I request our principal ma'am to light the lamp. I request our support. <laughs> I now request our principal. I request our principal, Dr. Zareen Batena, to address our first year students, ma'am. Good afternoon, everybody. It's 
a privilege and an honor to welcome you all to the Junior College of Bhavans College, situated in Andheri, in a lush 46 acre land, which we had acquired somewhere in 1946, when it was only a swamp area. This land was acquired by Kanaya Lal Munshiji, a stalwart in philosophy, a Gandhian, and somebody who has actually worked with Dr. Ambedkar to make our constitution. This is the legacy of Bhavan's College. And after 75 years of existence in this campus, we feel proud and privileged to bring in the morals and the character of where the batch of 2021-22. Normally, when we start with this orientation program, we normally try over here to do it in the seminar hall, wherein we have a face-to-face -face interaction. Last year also, we had this type of an orientation because of the pandemic situation. And we thought that this year it would be different. We'll again go into the offline mode, but we are still in this virtual mode. But in spite of this virtual mode, we felt that you should have an understanding of what Bhavan's College is, on what foundation it stands on, what is its philosophy, what is its culture? What is the way in which we expect our students to behave? And at the same time, take a virtual tour over the campus to find out what is available for you. Because through that campus tour, you will be able to understand what you would like to do in that of the future. Bhavan's College does not have just junior college. It has the degree college, which has got art, science, and commerce. And that degree college takes you right up to the PhD doctorate levels. And therefore, as in-house students, you get benefits of that. At the same time, we are very privileged to know that the university and the UGC has considered our college at the level such that they give you autonomous status. Autonomy means something that you can do yourself. And that to do ourselves gave us the right to make our own courses, to have our own evaluation and assessment systems, wherein we can evaluate you, not just for the uh, summative or the, uh, you know, writing questions as such, but even for analytical skills. At the same time, we know the fact that jobs is required. Placement is a must. And therefore, we work very hard to see that we create courses which are in lieu with the industry so that the industry picks you up. Such a course is now in degree college from this year onwards known as Bachelors of Retail Management. And we have got 100% placement from the start of that of the year, along with internship, which fetches you a salary of 6,000 per month. And this we have achieved for all the 30 students who come into our program from the junior college, as well as from outside. We expect a lot of things from you all. Okay, academically, as well as culturally and extracurricularly. At the same time, we expect that your character gets built, your morals get firmly founded on, and you are able to become a bright modern citizen of India. For that, we make sure that certain rules and regulations are followed. We have a very strong security in the campus. And please be sure that when you enter, the security will check you. 
This is when you go into the offline mode. We make sure that the attendance is mandatory to that of the lectures because academic is the main purpose of Bhavan's College and therefore 75% attendance is a must for you all. Please note, comma students, if you do not have 75% attendance, we will not allow you to appear for that of your exams. At the same time, we also know that there is fun and frolicky which is required in the campus. When this happens, there is a possibility that sometimes ragging takes place. Bhavan's College has a firm policy of anti-ragging. That means no ragging for any whatso reason will be allowed in that of the campus and it will amount to immediate dismissal from that of the campus with cancellation of your admissions. At the same time, we also believe that we have to work with technology and technology does play a very important role. As you can see that most of your lectures will be held through this technological mode. But at the same time, when the teacher is talking, we do not expect technology to hamper us. And therefore in the classrooms and in that of the campus, mobiles are not allowed. They can remain in your bags. And I do not want to see students sitting in the campus under the banyan tree, under where the different trees and playing PUBG. That's something which where I abhor and therefore it will not be allowed in that the campus. Please make sure that you follow all these rules once when the college opens, because definitely I'm very, very sure that maybe from the after Diwali onwards, we are able to open up the campuses for all of you all. Please be in time. Take via the time and the effort via to study because you are the privileged people who have been able to get the education that where you require. And that is your fundamental goal. So please work with us to build your future. Now, Sujata ma'am will take you through all of the things that Pavan's College can offer you, make you take you through this virtual tour, invite her here and introduce the coordinators as well as the supervisors and the vice principals for her as such, who will be there to help you. The library will be shown to you. The administrative staff which is there to help you will be informed about you. And therefore, I hope you have a wonderful two years with us. And at the same time, be enthused to join us for the next three to five years for the postgraduate as well as for the graduate course. Welcome to Bhavan's College. Thank you. There are, there are five people who are waiting. Sorry, I just... Oh, it's good.
Yes, I'm back once again with you. And uh, Principal Ma'am has uh, introduced and she has told you what all are, your, are her expectations and all her expectations from you as a student. Yeah, this is your first year and it definitely holds a lot of significance to you. See, we, if not for this pandemic, you would have been there with us physically and the experience and to experience uh, orientation course in the auditorium on the campus would have been wonderful, would have been memorable for you. But then as per the pandemic rules, we cannot call you on the campus. And the best thing that we could do is to go virtual on, or online. Now, having secured admission into Bhavan's college, you have now become a part of our institution. You are the youngest member of our family. And it is our duty to acquaint you with the rich heritage that you are a part of, as well as to let you know about the rules and the regulations of this institution. Let, let me tell you a little about this institution before I begin. Our institution was established in the year 1946, a year prior to independent. Yeah, could I please request all of you to put your phones on mute? It's causing a lot of disturbance when I speak. Please put your phones on mute. Thank you. Now, as I said, our institution was came into existence in the year 1946, a year prior to independent India. And today, we have more than 320 institutions the world over. A big leap and a jump from what we started. And we are proud of it. But of course, we owe our very existence. Bhavans owes its existence to Kulapati Dr. K. M. Munshiji, our founder, president. Munshiji, Munshiji was born in the year 1987 on December 30th. Yeah, could you please put off your uh, mobile phones, put it on mute. It's very difficult for me to talk. Please, it's a request to put off your, uh, put yourselves on mute. Yes, as I was saying that Kulipati Munshiji was born into a very, very humble uh, household. He completed his schooling, went ahead for, for higher education to college. And when he was in college, he was under the inspiring influence of Sri Aurobindo. And then he got so influenced by him that he became an ardent freedom fighter. And it was in those days that he came in touch with or he came in contact with Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, Mahatma Gandhiji, as well as Honorable Sardar Vallabhai Patel. Later on, he completed his law, he was a lawyer by profession. He was also one of the members of the expert committee who drafted the constitution of India. In 1937, he was appointed as the home minister of Bombay. Then as India's food and agriculture minister. Later, he also served as the governor of Uttar Pradesh. Munshiji was not only into politics, he was not he was also interested in literature and he is even today known for it. He has written a number of books and is very well known in the Gujarati literary circle. Apart from this, he was also an environmentalist. The Vana Mahotsav that we celebrate today was his initiative and the results of which are seen even today on the campus. Such a lush, green surrounding that we have in our campus, such a green campus that we have. Uh, you know, very few colleges, I'm sure, would say, see this campus like this. And I would say, this is a place where nature meets civilization, the best of nature in the midst of urbanization. Munshiji was very much on Gandhian principles. He followed Gandhian principle. And we, till today, we do feel that the Gandhian principles should be followed and we follow it. 
Dr. K. M. Munshiji's philosophy was creative education is the art of self sculpture. Creative education is the art of self sculpture. This is a single statement to many of you, but has a lot of depth to this. The sentence has a lot of depth in it. According to Munshiji, he says that when a guru teaches his shishya or imparts knowledge to his shishya, he must do it in such a creative way, in such an innovative way that it should unlock the creativity in the student and the student should be able to self-sculpture himself. Right? So this is the meaning behind this philosophy and we truly agree with it. Our motto, Amrutam Tu Vidya. Everyone knows that when we have Amrutam, um, it's, it seems that drinking of Amrutam or having Amrutam makes a person immortal. Munshiji's motto was Amrutam Tu Vidya. That means when we impart as teachers, when we impart knowledge to our students, we enlighten the minds of our students. Our students in turn, when they impart knowledge, they enlighten the minds of others. And in this way, knowledge flows from one generation to the next generation. And so making knowledge immortal. And that's the reason why the motto Amrutam Tu Vidya. Let us start with a little bit of history of Bhavan's College, how this institution came into existence. During the time when Munshiji was a freedom fighter, during those days, you know, when he studied the youngsters, when he saw the youngsters, he felt that our youngsters were getting swept off by the Western way. They were more, they were more ready to accept the Western culture. And one day we, they would finally lose their touch with Indian roots, Indian culture. And that's the time when Munshiji felt that something had to be done to preserve Indian culture, to preserve the Bharatiya culture. And there were the seeds sown of the institution in his mind. He thought what best than starting an educational institution to impart Bharatiya knowledge. And that is the how the thought of starting an institution came into his mind. He then looked out for a place and he found this place in Anderi, which was then nothing but a marshy piece of land. And it was in the hands of the government. The military was in possession of this area and this area was the military firing ground. Later on after the war, Munshiji took up this place and started this institution. Initially, when he started this institution, the lectures and practicals were held in these very barracks, which the military had used for staying. I too am a student of Bhavan's. And during my college days, I remember attending lectures in these barracks. So the barracks are present even today. As you enter into the campus and turn left, immediately if you turn left, these barracks are still present today. But of course, we don't make our students attend lectures in these barracks. We have a proper building, a proper lecture room for you all. Right? Then, of course, our building was in, uh, the foundation stone of our building was laid by Sarvapalli Radhakrishnan. And it was inaugurated in 1946 in the hands of Sardar Vallabhai Patel. So we date back, right back to a year 1946 a year prior to independent India. Now, when we started, we started in a very, very humble way, just a building, a ground floor and a first floor. We did not even then have a second floor. The second floor was a terrace. To the right, if you see, you see two projections. Both the projections are still present, but the ground floor projection you don't see because we have a photocopy center over there, which you must have seen when you came into the main building. Later on in the years to come, the terrace was converted and a floor was put up over there, second floor was put up, which today houses the biology department. The picture slowly changed and we have in 2002, the campus looked like this, where we have the ground floor, the first floor and the second. The ground floor, which is present houses, that is when you enter the building and if you move to the left, you will find the principal's office, the vice principal's office and the exam rooms. 
first floor you have is entirely occupied by the physics department and second floor is entirely occupied by the biology department we gave a facelift in the year 2006 so it's very clear here here as you enter you can see as you enter left you move you have the vice principals the principals and the exam rooms right you have the administrative section first floor physics second floor just converted into now into a biology department if we gave a further facelift in the year 2015, we painted this building green in color. We maintained the same structure, but we painted it green, merging with our surroundings. This is a beautiful campus that we have, the lush green campus that we have, a very well-maintained campus. Yeah, a bird's eye view of the different buildings that we have, especially for Bhavan's College. We have on this campus, not only Bhavan's College, we also have the engine, two engineering colleges, that is SPC and SPIT. We have the well-known management college, that is SP Jain Institute of Management. We have three schools on our campus. That's the Wadia School, which is for uh, SSC co-ed. We have Hansraj Maharaji School, that is HMPS, which is boys SSC syllabus. And we have the CBSE school that is uh, Rajan's Vidyalaya. Hmm? Apart from this, we have a temple, a post office. We have almost everything on our campus. So, but that is the entire campus. I'm not referring to the entire campus right now. I'm only looking at the buildings which you will be going to. So the main building is here painted in green. The adjacent to the main building is the chemistry building, which is painted in blue. So it's easy for you to remember the colors. Behind the main building, we have the library building, which is seen red in color, but we have recently got it done up and we have painted it. It's off-white or creamish in color with a trimming of orange. And behind this library building, we have the SFC building or the self-financing courses building, which is yellow in color, which is yellow in color. So we have green, blue, off-white, and yellow color buildings, right? So it becomes very easy for you to identify these buildings. We go ahead to each of these buildings. Now, the, what you are seeing over here is the entrance and the front side. On the rear side of this main building, we have got different counters where you have gone to pay your fees, right? See, the counter number two is for inquiry. You can do all your inquiries here when you are offline. Counter number three is for LC, issuance of LC, I-card, duplicates, exam forms, and eligibility forms. Counter number four is for bona fide certificate, rail and bus concessions, and mark sheets. Counter number five, scholarship, free ship, cast validity. Counter number six is for payment of fees, and counter number seven is for the SFC section, or the self-financing courses and the unaided course section. All this comes under the purview of our in-charge college registrar, that is Mrs. Vijaya Talpade. Each of these counters will be manned by our staff who will help you. Okay. Now, the next, besides this main building or adjacent to the main building, I told you is a blue color building, which is a chemistry building. We refer it to as a chemistry building. Why? Because on the ground floor of this building, the entire ground floor, you have the chemistry labs. So first, you're a commerce student, so it's okay, but otherwise it's a chemistry lab is present over here. The first floor and the second floor are for the theory classes, which you will be visiting. Now we number these rooms. We number it as C102, C103, C201. Now, what does this mean? C stands for chemistry building. 102, one stands for the first floor. 102 means first floor, second room. Same way when you say C201, it means chemistry building, second floor and the first room. So you should know how to follow these codes. Next comes the library building. As I told you, it was previously brick red in color, but today it is off white with an orange color trimming. That ledges are trimmed orange or painted orange. Right, so we have over here on the ground floor, we have the library. On the first floor, 
we have the entire ground floor is a library the first floor is a reading room reading room as well as a digital library second floor are the lecture rooms they are the lecture rooms on the second floor which will be named as l201 l202 l stands for library 2 stands for second floor you can see over here behind the red color building is the yellow building that is a sfc building we have the sfc building over here right this sfc building houses the self financing courses and some of the unaided lectures may be held over here unaided classes lectures or the sfc lectures may be held over here where we will write it as r1 r2 r3 and r4 these are the four rooms which are usually allotted so your, those who are from the unaided and the sfc section may have their lectures in this building now we are a recipient of a number of awards a number of awards the first of that being the communal harmony award communal harmony award is was given to us for our outstanding contribution to the cause of communal harmony and national integration this award was given to us by president of india k r narayanan and it was received by bharat ratna c subramanian on behalf of the bhavan we are also recipient of the gandhi peace prize for the year 2002 it is it was given to us for our outstanding and significant contribution towards spreading peace and harmony among all religions and communities this prize is usually won by individuals and mother teresa is one of them who has won this prize but we as an institute that is bhavan as an institute has won this prize and we are proud of it we celebrated our diamond jubilee in the year 2006 platinum jubilee of bharatiya vidya bhavan that is our parent body in the year 2013 and the same year we also celebrated the 125th birth anniversary of km munshi ji or kanaiya lal m munshi ji we are indeed blessed to be <coughs> to have so many spiritual leaders coming to our college some of them are Swami Ranganathananda, His Holiness Sri Jayendra Saraswati, Swami Vagishanand, Swami Vijendra Saraswati, His Holiness Shankar Acharya, Sri Satya Sai Baba, and Swami Chinmayanand. These were the holy people who have, or the spiritual leaders who have blessed our college by their presence. We have also played host to a number of dignitaries, like Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, the then Prime Minister of India. Shri Y B Chavan, the then Chief Minister of Maharashtra, Shri Mati Vijay Lakshmi Pandit, the Indian diplomat and politician who was the first lady elected as Governor of Maharashtra, Shri Jay Prakash Narayan, Indian independence activist and a political leader, Honorable James Callaghan and Honorable Margaret Thatcher, both former Prime Ministers of United Kingdom. Shri Vijay Merchant, the well-known cricketer, we have played host to all these dignitaries and many more. <coughs> Bhavan's College at Andheri is situated in the heart of Mumbai. We have a scenic campus and a picturesque lake. This lake, I mean, very few colleges would have a lake on their campus. and we have a beautiful pathway around it where one can go for walks it's beautiful to see this place early in the morning it's beautiful to see this place late in the evening when the birds come in for a dip such a picturesque lake is very it's a very very rare sight in mumbai itself leave alone any college having this but we are blessed to have this on the campus we also have a lord shiva temple this temple was built in the year 1960 and it was then that munshi ji placed his fa family deity that is lord chandrashekara in this temple lord chandrashekara is the incarnation of lord shiva and we popularly call it is known as the lord shiva temple and not normally but during exams there is a bee line over here many students go to this temple to seek the blessings of the lord a beautiful temple 
so very old, but yet so very significant and well kept, well maintained. We have a huge playground with a professionally developed cricket pitch, a cultural center, an exotic nursery. We do have an exotic nursery where a number of plants are present. They do sell the plants, but then we also have very rare plants on this campus which are labeled so that students get an opportunity to study them. We have an adventure center to which many colleges come here, many schools, I mean, come here for picnics. We also have the yoga bharti here where yoga is taught. We also have, they also teach yoga. There are students who do courses in yoga so that further they become teachers. Right? And we also have a cultural center now on our campus where cultural programs and musical programs, the book release functions, uh, there are a lot of uh, concerts which are held over here in the cultural center. Now, coming to the administrative side, we have our principal, Professor Bathena, who just addressed you. She's the head of both degree as well as junior college. At the junior college level, we have a, you have your vice principal, Mrs. Sujata Shetty, and she's the one who is talking to you. We have a joint vice principal, Mr. R.D. Deshpande. Supervisor, Mrs. Deepa Nadkarni, she's there here with us. Hello. Can you see her? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay, thank you. We have our administrative in charge, Mr. Jagdish Prajapati. He too is over here. You'll come in contact with these people more when you come for your offline lectures. We also have our next administrative in charge. There is two administrative in charges we have. And the next administrative in charge is Mrs. Hemangi Desai. Right? We are from different departments. I am from the biology department. Mrs. Deepa Nadkarni, your supervisor, is from chemistry department. Joint vice principal and the administrative in charges, that is Dishpande sir and uh, Prajapati sir, are from the physics department. And Hemangi madam is from the maths department. Of course, you will come in contact with Hemangi madam more since you are a student of maths. Now, I'll introduce you to the various coordinators. Most of the coordinators will come online to say hello to you. But then if you don't find them, that means they are there in their lectures because we have our SYJC lectures going on. So they may or may not be present right now. Let's come to it. The Marathi department, we have Mrs. Jyoti Malankar who heads the Marathi department. Jyoti, madam. Hi. Yeah, I think Jyoti Madam has come. Yeah, hi. Yeah. Okay, we have from the English department, we have Mrs. Anupreeta Trimbakkar. <coughs> the Hindi department is headed by Mrs. Dipti Savant, but we do have an in charge um, right now, Mr. Suresh Gavit. But um, otherwise, Mrs. Dipti Savant is the coordinator of the Hindi department. For French, we have Mrs. Anjali Mulgaonkar. The head of department for commerce is Mr. Suresh Gavai. Gavai, Hello. sir, are you there? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Oh. Hello. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I think students can see you. Students, can you see, sir? Okay. Anjali, ma'am, were you there? Okay. From the economics department, we have our head of the department, that is Birade, sir, or Mrs. C. Birade. Maths department, Mrs. Hemangi Desai. Hemangi, madam, are you there? For yes, information. Okay, okay. I think students have seen you then. Yeah. Yeah. The Information Technology Department or the IT Department, the head is Mr. R.D. Deshpande. He's also the Joint Vice Principal. <coughs> the Health and Physical Education, the Sports Department is headed by Dr. Vidya Kulkarni. Hi, students. Uh, 
Uh, and for Sanskrit, we have Mrs. Shruti Parte. Shruti, madam, are you there? Yes, madam. Hi, oh. all. Yeah. Okay. I think now you have a, uh, you will remember all these names. Marathi, Mrs. Jyoti Malankar. English, Anuprita, ma'am. Hindi, Dipti, ma'am. French, Anjali, ma'am. Commerce, Suresh, sir, or Gawai, sir. Economics, Birade, sir. Mathematics, Himangi, ma'am. Information Technology, Deshpande, sir. Health and Physical Education, Vidya, ma'am. And Sanskrit, Shruti, ma'am. Right? So these are all your coordinators for the various departments. Yes. And now we come to the library. The next most interesting place where students would like to be is the library, where we have a number of books. We have a number of books ranging from religion to the present, that's information technology on computer science, on electronics. We have an array of books. We have more than 55,000 books and it is managed very well by our librarian, Mr. Ramesh Paloti. As soon as you get your I cards, you'll go and fill up a membership form in the library and a library card will be issued to you. There is a separate reading room and a digital library, as I told you on the first floor. Every year, the library arranges a book exhibition, which you can take advantage of. And for book circulation, the schedule is from Monday to Saturday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. During this time, the duration for each book that you borrow, one book at a time, and for each book that you borrow, you can keep it for seven days if you have issued it against your library card. One book for seven days if you have issued it against your library card. And one book for reference if you issue it against your I card. The book that you issue for reference cannot be taken home, even for a single day. You have to refer it in the college itself and you have to return it back. And my dear students, you will remember that when you take these books for seven days home, please read it. And at the end of the seventh day, please return this book on time because there is someone else waiting for that book. So you keep it at home, the other person cannot take advantage and maybe you will have to pay a fine for it. So see that you give the books within seven days if you have taken against your library card and if you take it against an I card, it is only for reference. And so you will refer it and return it immediately. Yeah, an important committee, that is the exam committee and the in charge for this is Mr. Jagdish Prajapati, our administrative in charge. Now the schedule, of, we do have a definite schedule of exams, but being a pandemic situation, we cannot commit to you right now the schedule of exams, but the schedule of exams will be known to you. It will be informed to you well in time and we'll put up the schedule on the website. Everything, all information henceforth will be put up only on the website. Do not expect a personal message from us for anything. It will be all on the website and you will make it a regular practice to go through the website. Yeah, the attendance committee, the in charge for this committee is Mrs. Gracie Cherian. 75% attendance is compulsory for all the students. Attendance will be taken separately for each lecture, tutorial, and practical. See, what I mean to say is, agar aap lo pehle lecture mein aate ho, fir baad mein ye sochte ho ki hamara attendance to lag gaya hai, mark ho gaya hai, hum nahi bhi rehenge, se next lecture ko to farak nahi padega, isa nahi hai. Lectures jab attend karte ho, har lecture mein attendance liya jayega, har tutorial mein aur har practical mein attendance liya jayega. So that means if you have four lectures, if there are four lectures in the day, then you will have attendance in four lectures. And this attendance is marked separately, subject-wise attendance mark. It is not like school. In school, you have only one attendance for a day. But in college, you will have attendance for every lecture. All students are hereby informed that as per government notification, attendance of the students is to be sent online every day. You are warned that if they fail to maintain 75% attendance in theory and practical separately, strict disciplinary action can be taken against them as per the rules. So this I would like parents, guardians, as well as students to make a note of it. Yeah, this is Mrs. Gracie Sharian. Gracie She's from the chemistry department and she'll keep the attendance meticulously. 
Yeah, we have the environmental education. This educate, um, see, you are the future generation of us and you need to have a good environment to live in. And there's a reason why the education department as well as the government felt it necessary to introduce this subject to you right from the school level so that you are aware of your environment and you will take care of it because you are the ones who are going to live over there. And the in charge of this department is Mrs. Anjali Mulgaonkar. She's the head of French department. Now, the EVS or EVE, what we call, is the assessment will be done on your year's work and information regarding the same will be given in due course of time. She will let you know when you have to submit your projects, when you have to submit your assignments, everything will be put up on the website. Now remember, environmental education, passing in environmental education is mandatory, otherwise you will be declared fail. Let me make it very clear to you, that if you have admission form, then अगर एनवायरमेंटल एजुकेशन को टिक नहीं किया है इसका यह मतलब नहीं है कि आप लोगों को एनवायरमेंट एजुकेशन नहीं है ये गलतफहमी में मत रहना एनवायरमेंट एजुकेशन ये कंपलसरी है फॉर ऑल सभी के लिए ये कंपलसरी है एंड यू हैव टू सबमिट योर प्रोजेक्ट्स एंड असाइनमेंट्स देयर आर मेनी स्टूडेंट्स हु फेल ओनली बिकॉज़ दे हैव नॉट सबमिटेड देयर ईवीई प्रोजेक्ट्स एंड असाइनमेंट इट्स अ ग्रेडेड सब्जेक्ट so please see to it that all of you will have eve whether you are arts whether you are commerce whether you are science student all of them will have eve it's a compulsory subject yeah one of the important wings or of our college is the national cadet corps or the ncc wing which you have two very able in charges there is captain sharma and captain kota captain malini sharma for the girls and captain vs kota for the boys for all for the inquiries regarding the ncc you may mail them on the address that is given to you the motto of ncc is unity and discipline see when we see uniformed people invariably our heart fills with the you know pride with a sense of pride we a heart really swells up with the sense of pride and here when you join the cadet corps or the national cadet corps you can don the uniform and be a part of these services but it is not just donning the uniform but it also requires a lot of hard work a lot of hard work i don't know if malini ma'am is there here on the program is malini ma'am there on the program if you are there you can just acknowledge or maybe she is in the lectures then but if you enroll yourself for the ncc you will see her you will meet both of them captain kota as well as captain sharma the aims of ncc is to develop character and discipline leadership and comradeship secular outlook spirit of adventure trained and motivated youth i must say it's a, it's a great pride to see these students in uniform and the way they will march the way they are disciplined they are so disciplined the you one must just join the ncc for that you know they are, they are really very very disciplined students of us and they have a number of activities uh, which they participate in and you have scholarship from 1000 to rupees 6000 as well as reservation of seats for joining the armed forces but of course there are certain criteria that you have to fulfill and that will will your teacher will let you know about it yeah now an institution i always say exerts a great influence on the minds of the students the years that you spend with us here are not meant only for you know filling your head with knowledge but we would also like you to spend this time in molding your character and attitude it is here we actually want our students to be more human we want our students to be more sensitive to society and for that you have two very able people to help you that is mr suresh kavit and mr tipti lakum the aims of ncc is to inculcate the importance of social value to develop quality of leadership among students we have a number of activities that they do beach cleaning mop controlling during visarjan rakhi making cloth bag uh, making organizing rural camps they also hold uh, competitions debates elocution essay writing 
The topics for this are save the planet, communal harmony, drug abuse, hygiene and cleanliness. Here you can see the NCC unit going to the rural areas, working with them, going to old age homes, uh, going to the uh, villages, helping the needy during uh, you know, maybe it's a time of cyclone or maybe floods uh, or during pandemic times, they go, they visit, they do a lot of social work because the motto of NCC is not me, but you, where you are the first preference, me comes later. Yeah. Now, in today's era, in today's digital world, the only form of exercise that I see students indulging in is to lift their finger, that's especially just two fingers, that is the index finger and the thumb, to press the buttons of their mobile. Apart from that, I don't think majority of our students do any other form of exercise. But then it is always good to flex your muscles a little and indulge in sports for the overall development of a student, right? And to help you achieve this, we have a very, very enthusiastic sports department in charge, Dr. Mrs. Vidya Kulkarni. She was just there in the coordinators group and you have seen her. We have a well-equipped gymkhana. We provide facilities for coaching in indoor and outdoor games. We organize annual sport events in the month of December, usually. This year is an exception. Health and physical education exam is also based on the year's assessment work. And ma'am will let you know about it. This is a graded subject. Grades will be allotted to you on the basis of marks. Like EVE, this is also a mandatory subject or a compulsory subject. I do not want anyone coming up and telling me I am an art student, I am a commerce student, or I am a science student, and I am not interested in sports. No, sports is essential to all of you, and you have to give these exams. There is no exception to this. Passing in sports is mandatory or is compulsory. Admission form pe tick nahi bhi kiya hai. Agar tick nahi bhi kiya hai, to bhi. Sports compulsory hai aap ke liye. Agar sports ke jo projects hai, jo assignments hai, agar wo submit nahi karenge, agar sports ke exams nahi diye, right? So you will not be allowed to go to the next class. That means you will fail. So see that you uh, fulfill all the requirements of the sports department. Hmm? Yes, we go to our cultural activities. We like our students to come up with their talents to showcase their talents. We have a number of programs, but as I always say, this year is an exception. Maybe you, you may come to college and then if there, we can do anything for you, we can hold some activities for you, we will hold it. But otherwise, usually we have a grand program in the month of December, the college day program for which the preparation starts somewhere around July, August itself, where there are talent searches held uh, the selection music, dance, and theater is done. There is also a Kala Mahotsav, there's an intercollegiate festival. The fine arts and literary events are also held over here, right? And we have for this a very, very enthusiastic and dynamic person that is the in charge of cultural activities, Professor Mrs. Sh Jyoti Shirodkar. Hmm? You'll meet her whenever she keeps any of these programs. And now we come to the literary associations. These literary associations, we actually try to enhance and sharpen your literary skills, your writing skills, your you know the language skills that you have. And for this, we have our very efficient teachers in Marathi, Hindi, as well as English, who themselves are very fluent in the language, right? And the literary associations, association in charge is Mrs. Jyoti Malankar the head of Marathi department. We also have the Marathi Sanskritic Mandal and the Marathi Natya Mandal. So when she arranges for these programs, we'll definitely let you know about it. All information only on the website as of now. now we come to the Kulapati Awards, one of the most prestigious awards of our institution, right? This award, is where we appreciate, we acknowledge, we recognize 
the array of talents that our students have. This is not this award is the recipient of this award is judged on various aspects like attendance, overall academic performance, performance in extracurricular activities, achievement in NCC, NSS, and performance in sports and cultural activities. We would like to see an overall development, a holistic approach to each student of us. And that is the reason why we, the recipient of this award, will be judged on all the various parameters that we have put up. This award, there are four awards in junior college, Kulapati four awards. That is the one is the best student award in science, second best student award in arts and the best student award in commerce. And there will be one overall best student award, right? So, and this award is usually given to a student after keeping in mind his two years performance. So it will be given at the end of SYJC for which you will have to apply for it and you have to get a recommendation from your teacher for this. Okay, so see that you make yourself eligible for this award and uh, this award will hold a lot of importance to you later in life. Hmm? It's a, one of the prestigious awards of our institute. We also have social organizations and the in charge for which is Ms. Jyoti Malankar, the Bhavan's Nehankit Helpline Center. I would like all of you to enroll in this, you know, for this helpline center because it is here where you can help students who are visually impaired. During exams, you can help uh, help by you know reading out the question paper to them, the writing the paper to them. You know that that gives you a lot of satisfaction when you do something for others, and they really need you. So please meet Jyoti, ma'am, and enroll for this. It will be a service that you will do to the society. We also have Vivek Vahini, which inculcates scientific attitude in students to do away with the blind beliefs and faith and to deal with the burning social issues. Yeah, and now we come to the discipline and the anti-ragging committee, right? We have the in charge for this is Mrs. Mamta Thorat. Mamta, madam, are you there? Good afternoon, ma'am, and good afternoon, students. Can you see me? Yeah, yeah, you will see her. She is, she is a very cheerful person, but when it comes to discipline, when it comes to discipline, she is extremely strict. So do not get on the wrong side of it. Uh, see, when discipline means normally, you no, know, when if you compare to a let's let's let me quote you an example of a cricket ground or of a badminton court. Do you see lines drawn on it? Yes, we do see the lines drawn on it. What is the lines meant for? Is it meant to restrict the player or is it meant to make the game more interesting? It is meant for discipline. It is meant to make the game more interesting. Without a line, without a border, without a boundary, you wouldn't enjoy a four and a six. You wouldn't enjoy a match, right? If similarly in life, if you do not have discipline, if there is no discipline, it is like an octopus on a roller coaster. You never know where you'll go. You should be more disciplined, which will help you to be more focused in life. Right? And when you are on the campus, absolutely no using of abusive language, no breaking of rules and regulations. We are very liberal when it comes to our students. But at the same time, we do not want any sort of indiscipline on the campus. Our campus is very big. We have cameras on the campus. So if you are found to do something that is not acceptable, you will be picked up by the security guard. So see to it, you do not indulge in any activities or in any indiscipline of any sort on the campus. Right? And whether it is with your fellow colleagues, whether it is with your classmates, whether it is with your teachers, you will always be very respectful. Your language will be very respectful, right? So that is all that we expect from you, discipline. Now, what is absolutely necessary is referring to Bhavan's website because all information will be put up on the website. There will be no notices coming to you every day. You know, hum aapko aapke WhatsApp pe nahi bejenge. Hum hare ke WhatsApp pe messages roj nahi bej sakte hai. To jo bhi message hai, right? Jo bhi notices hai, ye sab Bhavan's website pe hum dalenge. 
और आप ये आदत डाल लो कि रोज हमें बदभवन वेबसाइट एक बार हमें वेबसाइट पढ़ना है तो ऑल इंफॉर्मेशन विल बी ऑन द वेबसाइट दैट इज डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट बावन डॉट ए सी डॉट इन वेरिंग ऑफ वैलिड आई कार्ड वी नीड टू डिफ्रेंशिएट आर स्टूडेंट्स फ्रॉम अदर्स सो अ वैलिड आई कार्ड इज नेसेसरी अगर वैलिड आई कार्ड नहीं है आपके पास आपको अंदर आया सिक्योरिटी वाला देंगे ही नहीं अंदर आने के लिए तो आई कार्ड लेके ही आना एंड सिक्योरिटी वाले के साथ झगड़ा मत करना कि हमारे पास आई कार्ड नहीं है तो क्या है हम स्टूडेंट है इस कॉलेज के इसलिए इस बात पे उनके साथ झगड़ा मत करना वी विल नॉट अलाउ यू टिल यू हैव अ वैलिड आई कार्ड एंड आई कार्ड शुड ऑलवेज बी अराउंड योर नेक वेन यू कम ऑन टू द कैंपस वेरिंग डिसेंट क्लोथ्स टू कॉलेज डिसेंट मीन्स सिंपल डिसेंट क्लोथ्स टू कॉलेज you have your discotheque clothes you have your party clothes you keep it for those functions itself when you come to college you are coming to an educational institution where clothes decent enough carrying an informate daily to college you have if we give you we may or we may not give you this informate because of the pandemic but in case next year we give you this informate you have to have it because all your assignments projects everything that you submit will be recorded in this reading of notices regularly maintaining discipline and decorum of the college now what is absolutely prohibited smoking chewing tobacco or eating pan collection of money as contribution for picnics trips educational visits charity social activities or any other activity without sanction of the principal we do not encourage students going for picnics and trips no it's a strict no let me tell it to the parents if your child comes and tells you that we are want to go for a picnic rest assured it is not from the college the college does not encourage 11th and 12th students to go for any picnics or any trips or any educational visits if there is something we will take it from the parent we will take a letter saying that yes we are allowing you the child to go so we we do not encourage any of these things neither collection of any money for charity nor for any educational visit so parents please be careful if you are any time your child or student comes and tells you that we have to go it is strictly not from the college to use any unfair means yes copying strictly prohibited use of mobile phone in college premises that is your phone should never ring when the class is on that is when you come for your physical lectures otherwise of course the mobile phone is necessary for you for your lectures yeah after having done your 11th and 12th you automatically become our in house students right you are from the commerce faculty and we you will have so uh, you can further go ahead to for become after become uh, i mean after your 12th you may either go to become for a degree or commerce students can also join in for bmm bms baf as well as bachelors in retail management that is what principal just spoke about bachelors in retail management is a course that we have just started this year where as she said and when you enter into the course itself you will be uh, interviewed and uh, for the job so that's a course which we have started after we have got our autonomy and now and the announcements the regular lectures will commence from tomorrow from tomorrow right that is the 13th of october so your lectures will commence we will be putting up a time table we will be putting up a time table by today evening the time table will be on the website so you will go through it assignments and project submission dates will be announced to you later the schedule for exams will also be announced to you in due course of time yeah and now let me be a little more clear to you see my number is there on the website we have the principal's number also on the website we have the technical assistance number also on the website but these numbers are meant to be contacted only during the admissions and it is not an enquiry counter number so please refrain yourselves from calling on this number i get calls in the morning at 6:30 i get calls in the night at 11:30 pm but students just want to know when the lectures are beginning or when what what books they have to buy 
right so please do not ring up for all these things refer to the website if i were to attend two and a half thousand students calls during the day my phone is continuously ringing continuously ringing non stop it becomes very difficult for us so please refrain yourself from calling on these numbers all information that you need to know will be put up on the website only i hope i'm very clear to you and as far as what books you have to buy when students have rung me up for this what book should we buy the books that you have to buy are the simple state board 11 standard books and your teachers in class will also tell you about it so please do not worry on this matter and yes i thank all of you for being a part of this function or being a part of this program i do thank our technical staff the non teaching staff the teaching staff as well as my students for being a part of this program and i must tell you that you have been over here and you will be here with us for the for two years to come and may probably more than that when you continue for your graduation uh, in the different fields right and i'm sure that you will take maximum advantage of the facilities that are provided to you and i'm also sure that the two years that you will spend with us over here will go a long way in shaping your career and your future and your life remember you are a bhavanite today and you will re remain a bhavanite forever when you go to the outside world you will be our ambassadors for life and i wish you a wonderful college life and a great learning experience and hope to see you soon on the campus till then we will meet offline of course i will not be taking lectures for you but your teachers will be there for you online thank you चलो ओके बाय आई लैंड इट आई लैंड इट या